It's week 12 of the National Football League. And coming up is Jordan Brooks, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Cowboys and the Commanders, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, our Thanksgiving coverage continues with a good one here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon here in Dallas, joined by Charles Davis, as I am every year at this special time. Happy Thanksgiving, partner. And happy Thanksgiving to you and everyone. Everyone is checking out this game. Yeah, great to spend it with all of you at home. And boy, they've been doing this here in Dallas a long time since 1966. And it's always a little more intriguing when it's a divisional matchup like we have here this afternoon. And not only a divisional matchup, how about a heated rivalry matchup? But these two, they really don't like each other. And then should be Washington and Dallas traditional rivals underway here on Thanksgiving Day from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 so out comes the Washington offense onto the field and they'll be led out by a former first rounder in his fourth year now out of Utah State Jordan Love would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. He was able to pick up six yards there, so that leaves him with a third and 13. Now Love. And this goes out wide for Drake. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Needed 13, they got 13 on third down. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. On first and ten, it's Carter. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and six. Play action this time with Love. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and four. Well, Charles, this Thanksgiving tradition is so great. I mean, going back essentially through the full century of the NFL. I know you probably have a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving Day football yourself. I certainly do, and I don't have the turkey bowl tradition. You know, the families that go out and play and they come in and sit down to their feast and watch football. But I remember reading about, remember the Lions jumping on the Packers on Thanksgiving Day, the only loss the Packers had in 1962. They sat Bart Starr over 10 times in that game, and I remember Dave Williams from the Bears returning the overtime kickoff for a touchdown to win a game on Thanksgiving Day. I remember so many different things happening, but how much fun is it each and every year to know that you got football on Thanksgiving Day? And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. 
And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Going back to Love. Throwing the out route, and Crowder makes the catch. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Yeah, this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down and an exhale there as they convert on fourth. On play action, love to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. Oh, and that is incomplete. You look at this Cowboy defense. There are 32 teams in the NFL, and they're just better than 50% of them in defending the pass number 16 in the league. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Again, it's love. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. I thought the defense did there. He would have shut him down in about a McPherson's kick is good, and it's 3-0 Washington. Well, they started the drive back to up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And, Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, ended up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, yeah. Dak Prescott, who leads the way. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Again, it's Williams. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Here's Prescott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Now Prescott. A short one there, caught by Likely. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. But well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they're spotted. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. 
And they, almost to a man, told us how excited they are to be playing in this traditional Thanksgiving game. But we have to remember, this is a team that lost on Sunday. Now they get a very quick turnaround to play again. How difficult is that to do? It's difficult under any normal circumstance when you're coming off of a loss and you have a quick turnaround. The first thing is to put the loss behind you and move forward. But when you plan on Thanksgiving Day, everyone's watching you. It's an added bonus, though, because now you put the loss behind you. Get that taste out of your mouth because the taste you want is victory, turkey, and pumpkin pie. Love now to pass on first down. And that's going to be caught by Peoples Jones. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's second and a couple. Play fake. Here's Love. That's going to be caught by Ali Cox. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Love, they go play action now. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And the commanders are able to extend their lead. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. Taken at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one. We out-execute them. We can walk away with a win. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. You expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Prescott from the gun. The short one there caught by Likely. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. Crowder now to return. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And the Washington offense heading out. And yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old matter of If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this crew, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. 
Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. A give up the middle to Carter. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Deion Henley there on the tackle. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and nine. Glove. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. So the completion good for seven there. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off the play fake, Love. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It's always easy to second guess a call, but maybe he should have just handed it off here on third and short instead of keeping it on a play action pass attempt. Now it's fourth and long and just gave the defense a lot of momentum to build on for the next series. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? From the 22, here's second and eight. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. You know, thinking of this Thanksgiving Day game, Charles, for years we've heard the talk, why don't we open up these Thanksgiving Day games instead of just being Detroit and Dallas every year, give other teams a shot to host? I know you're kind of like me, a bit of a traditionalist, but what do you have to say to that, CD? I think it's a great argument, and the league could support it quite well, where you could move games to different spots and still be very successful on Thanksgiving Day, but... You're exactly right. I am a traditionalist. I really don't want Detroit and Dallas to give up those slots. I like the fact that we watch them each and every year. But what I really like is that the league added a third game in 2006. And usually it's division rivals, but that's the third one of the day, and it caps off a great day of football. They'll start on the ground, Carter. He's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Defensively, they were in the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with a verbal telestrator here, because that D-line has a nose over the center, and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside. But they sprint upfield, take on the inside linebackers. If the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. Throwing. Love. That's complete to Peoples Jones. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And he can't find Receiver and he's going down. Gregory Russo, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense and you can see how they've all observed their lessons and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield 40 yards rushing for him now to this point the offense on third down two for five to this point this is third and 14 now a draw play with Drake and nowhere really to go there he'll take this up just shy of midfield just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as 
it's fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? To throw is Prescott. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The Cowboys at 8-2 and two on the year. They come in off a loss last time out, but still in the midst of a great season. Winners of eight of their last ten. And they only scored seven points. Williams loses the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. He's now lost fumbles in back-to-back -back weeks. And, of course, you remember last week's game, such a close affair. That hurt him. Hurt him in a big way, and it is so key to take care of the ball because, remember, the team making the fewest mistakes usually wins the game. So you've got to take care of the ball, lock it away, high and tight, as you often hear from running back coaches. Four points of pressure, fingertips, forearm, biceps, sternum, or chest. Put it away. They'll start out here with the action left. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. A pause now as they tend to an injured player. And it, yeah, it's the quarterback, Jordan Love. He's shaking up out there. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing, Duggan. A short throw, this is caught by Cox. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Here's Duggan to throw. He's got Burton here. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. We need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Washington. Mullally Cox, his first touchdown on the year. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach. Okay, so he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. And he returns this to the 22. The offense getting set again. We spotlight Javante Williams, the running back. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit, maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Second and a couple. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him, giving him the ball again, and he repaid him, picking up a first down. 
And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Personal foul. Face back. Defense. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. A first down throw for Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. Seven. Prescott seven looking for and finding Amari Cooper again and they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 18 a good gain of 14 there and it moves to James well these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half but I like their countenance I like the way that they haven't panicked out there the way they're carrying themselves they're starting to move the ball and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone, spaces at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. Second down, Prescott. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Prescott yet again. Looking for Cooper, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. What's the deal, y'all? So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Williams. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Prescott now on second down. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Thielen, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football will have to be played. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat in the drive when we get at the 25-yard line. The commander's back out late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Duggan now to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. I tell you what, that's a better play than the guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. To throw is Duggan. Throwing the out route, and Crowder makes the catch. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Here's second and 10.
Duggan. He'll dump this off to Carter complete. Now the Commanders go burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Duggan looking to throw. Looking left sideline incomplete. So we've hit halftime on Turkey Day here in Dallas. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Happy Thanksgiving once again from our gang here in Orlando to yours. We'll get back to AT&T Stadium in a minute. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up later this holiday weekend. One of the best of the early games, we'll highlight it there. The Giants in for a stern test at home at MetLife Stadium as they'll have to contend with the New England Patriots. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being in Philadelphia, where we find the Eagles taking on the Buffalo Bills. Finally on Monday night, Cyber Monday. Put the credit card away and settle in for Bears and Vikings from U.S. Bank Stadium. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 the score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure the friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the Scott Troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. The opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that round game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Prescott. A short one there, caught by Likely. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and put the down marker back to one. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, oh, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second down at six now. Second down six. Play action now. Prescott. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And that is no good. 
and they will not cut into that 10-point lead. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. So here is Washington now to take over. They're looking to bounce back following the loss to the Giants last week, and they do lead here right now, and they've got the football, obviously, as well. First and 10. Now Carter to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and eight. They'll go again with Carter. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now going to look to throw this. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Carter straight ahead. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Shotgun snap. And again to Carter. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Off play action, Dugan. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up fourth down. McPherson's kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting through. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they tell their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Carlos Basham. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Third and long for Prescott. Now four on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Now it's Crowder. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. 
most of the time it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by right, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball is overthrown. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Back to throw. Dugan. They'll set up the screen to Drake. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. And they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on the punt for Washington. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here's Hill on the return. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Baron Browning from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Able to find the open man. That's complete. A big play here for Dallas. And even 40 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A toss to the wide side. This is Williams. And good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. here on Thanksgiving Day. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. First down, Prescott. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and ten. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. This one swung out to Williams. So he stopped for no gain. And it'll be fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The commander's offense returning to the field. 
Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 59 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from. Obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Another tote for Carter. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. A good comeback there after the penalty. Nine yards at its second and six. They'll hand it to Drake here on the option. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And this offense on third down today, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. A first down throw for Prescott. He'll find Williams on the slam. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Now Prescott. Finding Williams once more, complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Prescott. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Prescott now from the 50. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And again, it's Prescott. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Throw it, Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Prescott. And he is caught. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and comfortably so as he gets fouled there on third and a yard. That's a catch of some significance. It's number 631 of his career, and why that's significant, it ties him with Hall of Famer Raymond Barry. Who's one of the most precise route runners at any position 
during his time in his career. So I think that we're seeing something very similar here. He may not have known Raymond Berry, but he goes about his business the same way. Understands how defenses are going to play, understands where the leverage is, and goes away from it to the tune of 631 catches. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. Get Pro Bowl tackle Trent Williams for the infraction there. And there'll be a break in the action here because Prescott is going to use the timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now here's a throw that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And third and eight now. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Out route to Hill, complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Desperation time, Prescott on fours. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field driver, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now. His team up and then first by deed with his play. That's good coaches to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. He's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because. They're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Steps it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Javon Kinlaw forced his way through. Drops him for a loss of 10 yards. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turn far too often. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Prescott from the gun. That one complete to Hill. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Fourth 
quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset they come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire second down Prescott into the hands of Cooper well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down meanwhile Dak's throw complete here to commit and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 to throw Prescott that'll be caught by Hill and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Finding Williams on the check down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass pressure, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here's Prescott. Complete to Likely. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that will take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. And they take a knee. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your own crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world to get it done, <laughs> I fear that. I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Returnable here from the 38. Well, it took us until the final play chart to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for Washington, the win gets them back to 500 at 6-6 six and six on the year. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Dallas, it's a loss that could hurt them come playoff seeding time as they drop to 8-3. and three. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.